In this video, we're going to talk about using our Ninja Forms to create front-end content. So basically what you would use this for is if you were going to be allowing your users to submit blog content to your site, when you didn't really want to give them access to the WordPress backend, even as a contributor or something like that, you wanted them to be able to do it from the front end, then we can create a form for them to fill out. Now, when we're talking about user submitted content, especially in context to custom post types, we recommend that you use the types toolkit and we cover that in the functionality list under custom post types, but that can also apply to blog content. So if you wanted to get a little bit complex with this and you wanted them to be able to edit their content and do all kinds of other stuff all from the front end, it's a lot better to do that with the, with the types toolkit and we cover that under custom post types. So check that out, even if you're not specifically creating new types of content. But if all you wanted to do was have a form where users could submit blog, blog content to your site, then this is a perfectly good way to do that. So front end posting is an extension for Ninja Forms. So you wanna make sure you've either purchased that extension or it comes with the license that you've purchased. And once you do, it's gonna be under your available downloads. So we wanna scroll through this list and look for front end posting. And we'll just download that plugin. And then we're gonna install that just like any other plugin. We're gonna to go to plugins and click on add new and upload plugin. And you can either upload that from your computer or you can drag and drop it and click install now. And once that's installed and activated, you're gonna see that it does actually install a brand new plugin on your site. So let's go into our Ninja Forms dashboard and create a new form and we'll go blank form. So now that we've created our new form, the first thing we wanna do is go into emails and actions and create a new one. And we wanna select create post, right? So the first thing we wanna do is select the post type. And for this, it's just going to be posts. And that means it's gonna create a new blog post. And then we have to create a post title and a post content, but we're gonna do that from our form fields, right? So for now, we're gonna go back to our form and we're gonna create a single line text field and we're going to call that title and make it required and then we're going to create a paragraph text field and we're going to call that post content and we'll make that required as well and now if we go back to our emails and actions and we edit our create post under the post title we can use our merge tag look for fields look for our single line text title under post content, we can do our paragraph text field. And that's gonna allow us to set it up. So whatever title they put in is the title and whatever post content you can put in, you can put post content. Now you can create any fields you'd like and create a post from that. So if you wanted them to fill out a form and then create a post based on that. So let's say, uh, you know, uh, whether it be, so if it was something like a profile where you wanted to create a profile for each user, and I mean like a written profile or something like that, you could have out, you could have them fill out all of their bio information and have that create a draft post for you. So then it would be really easy to just go in and create a profile from it. So it doesn't necessarily mean that they're creating a specific blog post, but you can insert using these merge tags, any content from any of the forms and then have that create a post draft that you can kind of edit into a post. So really is determined by you know, how you want to set it up. You can also set up uh, taxonomy fields and categories and stuff like that and you can select which ones are available. But for now, we'll just leave that empty and we can add that in later on. And then we can do the post author, whether we want it to be the person submitting it or whether we want it to be a specific user. We can check, check the post status. So should it be pending review or private or published? Normally you're gonna want it to do pending review so you can take a look at it and manage it before it is posted. And I would say normally the post author select your editor account. That way all of the posts are from you, even if a user has submitted it, you can give them credit later on. You could put in a post excerpt. You can also use a merge tag for that. So you can create a field for the expert. And then you could put in some meta values or something like that. And you can also do conditional logic with this if you'd like. But for right now, we'll just do, we'll leave that as a basic example. So if we click done, click on publish, and we'll do submit content. We'll publish that and we'll create a new page. So this would be just for submitting a basic draft blog post. So we'll do submit your content, add 
add in our form. And now if we view that page, we're going to see a page where we can submit a title and post content, and that's going to create a draft in our system. So I could do something like, and then click on submit. And then in our back end under posts, you're going to see here my sample ninja forms post content, and that's ready for me to review and then decide if I want to publish it or not. And like I said, you can also do categories and stuff like that. But really, if we're managing posts submitted by our users, we want to, you know, they're going to tend to put everything in a bunch of different categories and stuff like that. So I would recommend retaining control over that edit their post as needed, select the most appropriate category, add in the images that you'd like uh, and stuff like that. And then you can go ahead and publish it if you'd like, or just delete it if you don't like the content. So that's just a simple way to set up a quick form where users can submit blog, con blog content to your site, and yet you retain the control of whether or not that content gets published or not.